uh, had not known Bernie until he joined the board later. I'd have heard of Bernie. And it's been a pleasure to serve with him. When um, in 2018, near the end of 2018, the museum was uh, had some challenges, and I won't go into what the challenges were, but we needed uh, somebody to step up to the plate, and we were looking for somebody with deep respect in the blues community, deep knowledge of the blues, and a calm presence to say, everything's gonna be all right, this is a worthwhile institution to have, and Bernie was on the board, we asked him to do that, and he didn't have to do that. Uh, in fact, he could have easily said, no, thank you, I don't wanna do that, but he, but he did, and uh, he stepped up to the plate, and together with the way he and uh, Aaron have, uh, have uh, run this institution. You know, the band is, uh, uh, I'm a musician too, so I think about when a band plays in harmony, and that's the way that those two have really operated in complete harmony and, uh, and really saved the institution the way they handled that situation and going through the pandemic. Um, and I will say, it's for, for the two of them, it's always been institution first. I've never gotten a call as a chairman of the board from one or the other saying, hey, you know, whatever. Uh, and I mean, I work in an office, so I get calls from people who have loaded the copy machine wrong. So uh, this is, <laughs> that that's amazing what they have done. And I really want to thank uh, Bernie for that service. It's, it's It really uh, was exactly what the institution needed. And thank you. Thank you, Rob. Um, it's been almost four years, you know, and I can look out on the audience right now and, and see everybody out there I have a personal relationship with. And I thank you so much for being here this evening. But what Rob said was so easy for me. And I was the public face of the National Blues Museum. We did with Aaron a few personnel issues. I did most of the radio and TV appearances, but the work was really done at the National Blues Museum by Erin Simon. She was the one that brought us to this pandemic. She was the one that kept the museum going when we had this fire. She's the one that the stage rebuilt. She's the one who curates the exhibits. It's been such a pleasure working with her. Although I had the title of interim executive director, Erin was really the executive director. And it's time for her to be recognized as such this evening. It was my pleasure, my distinct pleasure, to present Erin Simon, the new executive director of the National Blues Museum. As most people who know me know, I'm very introverted and shy. I do not have any remarks prepared. I'm not an eloquent public speaker like Bernie. <laughs> uh, but I very, very much uh, love love our museum, and um, I'm so proud of you know everything we've done over the past couple years. Um, there were definitely challenges, but one of the greatest compliments that. I get to say so many people stop and tell me that we are the cultural gem of St. Louis and I'm so proud of that and I'm so proud of all the opportunities we provide for musicians and all the public programming we do in the community a lot of it's free and especially our educational initiatives like Guitar St. Louis so um, I'm just really excited about the future and um, we have a lot of really exciting initiatives um, coming up and just continuing to work and thank you for sharing this moment with Bernie and I tonight. <laughs> I also want to say, um, just like Rob said, that um, Bernie is the most wonderful mentor and friend. Um, out of all the people I've known in my life, I don't know if anybody has touched me the way Bernie Hayes does. He um, just always has the greatest advice and insight 
and um, I can't tell you how many times Bernie has told me a story that I've been like, what? <laughs> like, you met who? You were where? Um, he's just like a wealth of just history and knowledge, and um, he's just had such a huge impact, not just in our St. Louis community, but just nationally, um, just everything he's done um, in his career, and it's really just too long to list, but all of you are close with Bernie, so you know all those remarkable things he's done in his life. I want to say this, that it was so hard keeping the surprise birthday party for UV. <laughs> Everybody came and kept saying happy birthday to UV. She never got it. But we planned this two weeks ago. And I just want to say all of you, thank you so very, very much. And Renee, couldn't have been better, baby. Couldn't have been better. Thank you all. Thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you all for this wonderful tribute. And thank you just for being yourselves. I mean, you know, I sent out a guest list of about maybe 80 people. But those of you who showed up was no surprise to me. And I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for coming out tonight. Thank you. Go on, Renee. Mr. Higginbottom, Mr. Dunbar, Mr. Robinson, and Mr. Brock, show sure enough putting the home you baby. I congratulate them and congratulate you. Thank you, Renee. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>